it fired immediately. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome, <clears throat> Mick Backerson. So before we get started, I will mention we have a stipulation from... Where is it? Hold on. I can't find it. Overkill from Gimpy. Uh, mono green ramp, kill with crater hoof. Extra bonus points if you if you cast finale for 10 plus. So if we see... I, I'm mentioning this because I'm going to take channel. <laughs> I think it's pretty obviously channel. It's literally one of my favorite cards in the cube. And uh, an early channel is, is just fantastic because it lets you pick up all the Eldrazi or 7 and 8 mana planeswalkers you want. But the point is... If we see a crater hoof, we're going to make this stipulation. <laughs> Wait, Visions. Well, I mean, Visions does go along with your uh, draw all the cards, you know, thing. Hmm. See, and then you get a pack like this. We're like, I love Acidic Slime and I'm fine with taking it. But it's not what you want a second pick. But to be fair, this pack is not super strong, so it's okay. We'll take a we'll take acidic slime. We'll be happy about it. <clears throat> God, I need haircuts so badly. It's just getting like so poofy. I I really. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no! You're making me choose which my should you choose my favorite son here. How does a six slime fit into that stip? <clears throat> well, you see. God, it's either Ulamog or Blightsteel. They're both indestructible. I think Ulamog's a little better. It is not in the stip, that is correct. It is not in the stip command. I'm going to take Ulamog. And Blight still might come back. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking as well. Ooh, I do like a Corsair of Crew Fix. Blight still has Infect. Ulamog has Infect for your deck, though, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to take Corsair. Although we could have channeled uh, into a Batter Skull. That would have been cool. Gaia's Cradle? Okay, now you're just... Now you're basically just like X over here because you're going to give it to me. And that's pretty cool. <coughs> oh, Lanowar Elves? I'm taking Lanowar Elves over Terastodon. Terastodon's a pretty replaceable effect, whereas Lanowar Elves kind of make the deck... Uh function. Fortel does seem like a sweet mechanic, and if you want to read all about Fortel, you can check out my article today where I talk about Fortel and Boast at length over at Cool Stuff Inc. It is now in the chat, so you can check it out there. Uh, Avenger of Zendikar is pretty good, and we did pass a <clears throat> a Terastodon, so I don't want to pass up all these guys. I do love Plow Under, but Devoted Druid? Okay, I, I, feel like we're in, I feel like we're in the right colors here. Tireless, tireless tractor. I feel like it's it's. You, you really don't even need to say it. We just kind of know. Thank you. Oh, Carwit, the ancestral vision came back. That's pretty sweet. Two way. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. I want to take Muldrifter. I think Muldrifter is the most likely card to splash here. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't stop Tireless Tractor from living their best life. You know, I, I didn't mean to. I never meant that. Um. Hmm. Oh, what up, Waylander? I feel like it's Dragon Lord of Tarka over Elves of Deep Shadow. Oh, Primal Command. Okay. Also, when I said Waylander there, I felt like Homelander. And I was like... That's not the same at all. <coughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Waylander with the resub. I was first. He's ripping me off. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Let's see. I want to see. Uh... <clears throat> so the boys number three came out in November of 2006. So <clears throat> I don't know, man. 15 years old. I've just tuned into this whole Capitol Hill stuff. Amazing. Yeah, it's something. It is. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre. I love Grim Monolith, but I... <clears throat> the Blight still didn't come back, also. Keep in mind. I think it's more important to make sure you have indestructible Eldrazi to cast off of your channel. Grim Monolith is great, but we're also a deck that doesn't necessarily need a Grim Monolith. We are a deck that needs Eldrazi. <clears throat> An old David Jamel character. I actually don't know who David Jamel is. Elder is also surprisingly... If Elder Gargaroth, Wall of Roots, or Grim Monolith come back, I will be grateful. <clears throat> I like Dryad. I like Nyssa. Oh yeah, the Thick Horseman pick. <laughs> Dude, I got a comment. <laughs> YouTube? Oh, man. <coughs> I'm going to find it. It was a good one. It was from Joel Stevenson. And he said, Katie, Frank is checking out other centaurs. <laughs> I was like, Joel, stop it. You're going to get me in trouble. I don't think it's dry. I think I think this is probably better than Dryad. Dude, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that comment and I just laughed out loud. I was like, that's amazing. Let's take Sylvan Library. That's a banger. I think there's several green cards um, that really help let the archetype thrive. And Sylvan Library and Channel are two of them. Um, Sylvan Library gives the green deck the kind of like card advantage and, and flexibility that other decks have. You might say it's a banana banger. That is correct. That is correct. <clears throat> Ooh, Lotus Cobra. Also, Emrakul might not be bad. I mean, if we get to take their turn and be like, don't play a land, attack you for 13. <clears throat> I feel like it is Lotus Cobra, but... I mean, we already have two Ulamogs. How many Ulamogs? How many, how many Eldrazi do we need? Yeah, let's take the Loco. You want the Emrakuls? Man, I was going with my boy Kerwood, who's like, a Lotus Cobra. And I was like, okay, Kerwood, that sounds good. And you guys are all, Emrakul. And I'm like, oh, dang. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Lotus Cobra. I think Emrakul's more replaceable. Ooh, I do love an Eternal Witness. This is one of my favorite cards to get in this archetype. I like Regrowth, too. But Eternal Witness is just a 2-1 a with a Regrowth attached. You like how I explained... What Eternal Witness was to you guys, in case you didn't know? Hmm. I mean, it's gotta be Zenith, but... Oh, Bird of Paradise? Oh, for sure I'll take a Bird of Paradise. This deck's looking good so far. I'm a fan. Again, I love this where they're like 7 mana. X mana. 10, 11 mana. <laughs> and I don't understand. I'm always gonna take Rex Sage. Especially in Vintage Cube. No Strip Mine. No, I don't care about Strip Mine. We watch you regularly. We know all about Ewit. I'm glad. I'm glad. Wall of Roots came back. That's what we we, we were hoping for. That no Grim Monolith. And, uh, I forgot, I have no Elder Gargaroth there, but that's fine. 
It's no Mystic Snake, though. Buddy, what is? And Dryad came back? Wow, we're getting, like, most of the... <clears throat> most of the cards back that we want. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, I have a stipulation in the queue from Gimpy MN. Uh, and it is a mono green ramp stip. Kill with Crater Hoof or bonus points if you can finale of Devastation for X10+. plus. So if we get a Crater Hoof, it's going to be a stip. If we don't get a Crater Hoof, we're just having some mono green adventures. <clears throat> Screw a Tribuller? Sure. I'll take this Ferocidon because Ferocidon because I hate playing against it. <laughs> okay, see, I'm trying not to make light of the situation at all because it's really terrifying. But that's a funny comment. <clears throat> Okay, no crater hoof, as you may have noticed. <clears throat> One day my throat will not be scratchy when I first start streaming, but not today. Um, it, it might actually be Wooded Foothills. We do have a Sylvan Library, which is a nice... We got Simic Signet, which I don't super care about. I think fast bond is pretty meh. Um, plus, the green decks don't rely on having a ton of lands. It's usually these guys. I'm going to take the wooded foothills. I think it's probably correct. I don't think fast bond's very good. That's this. <gasps> See, Rafelos, on the other hand, that guy's good. I mean, like, let's con consider your opening hand. You have a. You have, how many times do you have more than three lands in your opening hand? How, how many times? Like, it's very infrequent. Fast spawn Courser is fine, but I don't want to put a fast spawn in my deck just to get a couple extra lands, like, later in the game. It's just not... I don't know. It doesn't impress me. I like a Sword of Fire and Ice. We could actually cast an Ulamog, then cast a Sword of Fire and Ice, and then put it onto the Ulamog. That's kind of cool. I'm almost tempted to take Sheldock as, like... Nah, it's going to be hard to activate, though. <clears throat> what do you think of Beast Within? I think Beast Within is fine. But I think we have a bunch of good answers already. We have, like, Ascetic Slime, Rex Sage, Ulamog, Ulamog. <laughs> Those are not answers. I'm just going to take Pelucranos. The, the point is there's very few permanents that are, like, not enchantments, artifacts, or lands. Um... That really disrupt the green deck in any kind of meaningful way. I'm going to take Fraley's. We don't have many Planeswalkers. <sighs> Survival is interesting. <clears throat> so is Through the Breach, actually. And we do have Wooded Foothill and a Dragonlord Atarka. I'm going to take Through the Breach, just in case an Emrakul passes us by. And maybe Raging Ravine comes back. I think search is fine, especially because we only have two one mana creatures right Thank now. I rather have another one mana guy, and it can get a uh, <clears throat> it can get a mountain, which is relevant. Oh, barcode! Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. <clears throat> Bloodbraid Elf is pretty decent. Deranged Hermit's okay. I'm gonna take I'll take the Bloodbraid Elf. Without opposition, I don't feel like we're a deranged. Term Stipulation has been activated, boys. <laughs> All right. All right. Unfortunately, the finale is in the pack, but we're never not taking Crater Huff. See, Fast Bond comes back because nobody cares. It's just not. It's just not very good. It, it's. I mean, like, it's good in like if if you're playing upheaval, it's great, right? Because then you just go Fast Bond, play all your lands again. It's cool. But in the green deck, like, you're never gonna have more than like three lands in your hand. So, like, you have to have, like, Fast Bond, Land, 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 Courser, and that's five of your cards. Yeah, I'll take Beastwood. Actually, I'm going to take Dire Fleet Daredevil. 
I don't care about Yavimaya Elder. This is 25 cards. So we didn't get an Emrakul, which is unfortunate, but we still have... I wonder if we're still through the Breaching. We could just take both of these out. And now we're not red. I, I think I like that. <coughs> oh, Raging Ravine, though. So now we have Wooded Foothills, Raging Ravine. Oh, that's, see, I like that guy, too. That guy's good. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? Someone was giving me a hard time in the in my in my YouTube comments about the step we did yesterday with the uh, the artifact deck and the um uh like I tried to do your stipulation as well, and they were like <clears throat> picks the step and then like does all this nonsense and I was like, buddy, are you really giving me this hard of a time <clears throat> about a step I've done three times? And he was like, to be fair, I didn't know you did it three times. <laughs> like, okay, well, I mean, they were actually pretty cool about it after the fact. Um, I mean, I'll be honest with this. It seems like the deck. I don't see anything I really want to cut. I could see cutting search for like, maybe Pelucranos because that guy's just big. I don't want, I mean, like we have green sign. I don't think we need primal too. They do very similar things. <clears throat> I mean, because we have 11, 10, 8, and 7, I'm not super interested in splashing a red card that costs 7 mana. I would much rather splash like Huntmaster because it puts two bodies on the board, gains us some life, and it keeps us alive in order to crater hoof. But do we have enough good cards? I mean, like, any card is a good card, yeah. I can get back Crater Hoof. I can get back Channel. <laughs> yeah, we have plenty. Yeah, I mean, like, it, yeah, this is just fine. I ain't too concerned. I, I would not play Pelucranos instead of Garrick. No, I think Garrick is incredibly underrated. I'm always impressed with Garrick. <clears throat> I'm going to play Pelucranos and take out the search for tomorrow. I'm also not playing Nick, though, which I'm sure some of you guys are going to complain about, but I, I think it's fine. I don't think Nick does is that great. Actually, maybe it's fine. So my problem is Nykthos puts two lands in the deck that do not contribute to playing a Rafelos or a Channel on turn two, and that's not always great. If you have two lands and one of them is either of these, you're just not going to be able to do that. However, if we do have a Rafelos and like in a turn, it also it's also it turns off Rafelos. So like, here's the thing: like if you're getting two mana, two two devotion from this guy, and you have a Nykthos, it's counteracting having a forest in play anyway because you're not you're getting one less green from this guy. So. Yeah, I, I don't care about Nykthos. I think sometimes it can be great, but I think it's also... Uh, I don't know for 16 lands here. Like, we don't have a ton. This is this is fewer than I'd like, and Lotus Cobra, you need lands anyway, so... This is fewer than I'd like to have for... Uh... Yeah, we yeah, still play Foothills. I do like that. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. Oh my god, Unforgiven, how are you always this far behind? <laughs> also, I got my Comcast issue sorted out last night. Apparently, 
my, the, the modem that we got wasn't even activated. So I thought I activated it, but apparently it was not activated. So I called them up, we activated it. I have not dropped any frames so far. And my upload speeds went from like 5 megabits to like 20. Which was just fine for me. <clears throat> <laughs> I feel like I'm unforgiven. I'm just worried you're always like super far behind. He's like, he's going to be like, oh shit, crater hoof in a second. And I'm going to be like, oh boy. I'm opening some cards that I picked up for my cube and I'll show them to you if you'd like. Would you guys like to see cube cards? Mm, okay. So I got this guy. <clears throat> I just got to figure out how to open it. There's a perfect fit on here and I'm like, which? Oh, he's do. Oh, it's a resealable perfect fit. That's nice. I love these resealable perfect fits. I've, I've put them on all my cube cards. Look at this. Look at this beauty. It's a beta disenchant. My long-term goal is to get uh, beta versions of all the cards in my cube that would have reasonable beta versions. If it has a more modern borderless frame, like Mana Drain, I'll probably get that because I like the more modern, like, borderless look i think it looks super cool but for cards that don't have that variant i'll just get a beta like a classic beta version uh, within reason of course like some things like birds of paradise are like 1500 bucks and i'm like eh, that's a bit much i got an emery a borderless emery lurker of the lock i don't know why this it, camera's having a tough time focusing on these but that's okay you guys know what emery looks like <clears throat> this hand is good i will keep it is this a turn two Pelucranos? No. I got a, I got this this borderless leyline tyrant. Come on, focus on it one time. Just give me. Not hard. Anyway, you guys know what these cards are, so. Oh. Well, that's fancy. <clears throat> So re resealable perfect fits look like Thank this. You. They are long. And you take one end and you tuck it into the other end. And it just it's like this it's like this sealed pack. Oh, you're just gonna kill my Okay. Well, I hope you got more removal. No, I'm just kidding, I don't hope that. But you see, like now we can eternal witness and, and Rafellus if they do kill it, so that's cool. Uh, okay. Two, three. This guy. Yeah, we're just gonna play that guy and pass. That seems fine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Next time we can actually crater hoof. That's <laughs> pretty good, right? What is that? 10, 11, 13, 14, this is 16 damage, and then we put two five fives on the board. Well, I don't know if we're gonna do that yet. I'm just going to get a Bird of Paradise back here. You got it. Oh, are they just going to kill us? No, they don't have they don't have any sort of like red sources. I'm opening another card. That's why I'm Looking down and somewhat distracted. We're going to hoof them next turn for sure. And we're not even going to have to tap for fellows for it, so. Oh, they're going to, they're going to, oh no. Oh boy. Oh, they're playing Yorion as their, as their guy. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yep. Yep. Actually, one, two, three, four, six. I think we can still crater hoof them. I think this is actually still a lot of damage. So six, seven, eight. This is 16 damage. This is the lethal. <laughs> They're still dead. All right. Sounds good. 
Yep, Crater Hoof's a hell of a drug. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, man, this guy's solely using resale on perfect fits. Like, okay, so here's the perfect fit, right? It's on the card. And then you got to go in here, and you can pull up the outside. And now it's unsealed. And now I can go in and grab this guy. It's very sweet. They're really sweet. And they, they fit perfectly inside of, like, shields. Or dragon shields and sleeves. This is a beta control magic that we picked up for the cube. So, also excited about this guy. And I got one more for you. But, I mean, I didn't see anything that we really needed to worry about here. Yeah, some of the beta cards just look super sweet. Like, obviously the art... Like, let's be honest. The art in beta and alpha and unlimited in the original sets... Um, it is much more simple than more modern art. Like, you can't even really compare these two in terms of art. Like, this is a much more complex piece. The colors are stronger. And this is a much more simplified piece, right? It's just... But there's just something so cool and nostalgic about the beta cards. Like, and, and like the colors on them really pop. Like, they, they definitely look great for their age. Yeah, I'm just going to submit. I got one more card that I received today. I got two packs of those perfect fits after seeing you show them off. I can confirm they are fantastic. Yeah, I really like them. I put my whole cube in them and like they just really feel I feel like this card is safe. You know, it's super it's super interesting. And I also feel like now that you said that, that Dragon Shield should sponsor me. So I am gonna ship this hand. I'm gonna send Crater Hoof packing. Because we have Ulamog, and if we get channel, it's very, very good. And finally a beta regrowth. We were just talking about regrowth and how much I like it, so this is a beta regrowth. Also, right into the cube. And, like, it's so funny, like, the wording on old cards. Return any card from your graveyard to your hand. You control target creature until enchantment is discarded or game ends. <laughs> they have to tell you, when the game ends, you no longer control this creature. You can't tap target creature this turn, but if it was already tapped, it stays tapped until you can untap it. If destroyed, target creature is put into its owner's graveyard. Oh man, simpler times. Wait, hold it up again? The regrowth? I mean, the green screen's hitting it, but, you know. I'm like, okay, sorry, your, your thing can resolve, my bad. Man, turn one soul ring is just so demoralizing. It's okay, guys. In two turns, we can kill it with a Fraley's. Which might be fine. They did nothing. Yeah, counter my Devoted Druid? Sure. Let's just draw a channel and have them have no answers for it. That would be amazing. Channel? No channel. So I'm going to play Nissa first because Corsair... Uh, oh, they're just going to counter this too? Sure. These seem like not the correct cards to be countering, but... Let's try it again. Okay, they're out of, they're out of gas. All right, well, we're not going to crack if we can just draw that Sylvan Library. Oh, man, this Antiquities Ridge show. I'm definitely watching this. Might give you a boner. <laughs> It'll probably give me a weird boner. Ooh. Well, I'm going to crack this now because I do want to land on top. Like that. Do we think they're out of counter spells? Mm, no, 
no, I guess not. Boy, they couldn't have snapped that off any faster. <laughs> okay, buddy, you got it. Oh, you can't see the top of my library? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, there's no way to shuffle here, so I'm pretty sure we just play Palookan or uh, play Garrick, make a guy. Create a wolf. I mean, they could also have a resto, so I'm not really. If they had resto, I don't know why they wouldn't have. Okay, sure. I don't know why they wouldn't have countered my my Garrick. I guess. Really? Okay, sure. So we can actually get Rafelos, and if they don't have an answer, we can just play Ulmog. What are the odds of that, you think? <laughs> Very low. <laughs> uh, or we could just Rex Sage kill. Go for it. Not good. YOLO, oh my god, you guys are... I think it's just Rex Sage, kill Oblivion Ring, try to get another land. I don't think we're in that bad of a spot. Like, our hand is stacked. Well, they have a 5-6, but that's kind of it. I mean, then I'm going to be sad that I paid 3. I'm just going to get Rex Sage. It feels safer. Let's get a land. That's not a land. Dang it, Dryhead. Okay. Oh, man. If we could have done it, bro. Uh, no blocks. Why not kill the Gearhulk? Because I wanted my Courser back. I don't care about this guy. We have tons of ways to block this guy. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Just mono counterspells.deck over here. Oh, if they had Resto, then they could have literally... Blinked Gear Hulk to fatal push our guys, so. Um are they gonna counter this? Cause like we have Oh, they use mana leaks, so they still have counter spell. Okay. Well, I don't love drawing Lana or Elf, but Definitely bringing in Nature's Claim as well. Yep. And we can also triple block the Torrential Gear Hulk. They get to kill Wreck and Wreck Sage in one of the other two, so. The problem is I think Corsair is way more valuable than Dryad, but I like them both together because then we can play two lands a turn. Oof. One. I mean, Acidic Slime next turn is very good. Uh, 
This is one, two, three, this is six, seven. So even if we hit two lands off the top, we can't. Oh, if we hit, oh man, if we hit um, Gaia's Cradle off the top, it'd be real good. I'm back from the road show. I did get the weird boner. <laughs> That's just a side effect. Sure, you got it. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to keep jump blocking this Torrential Gear Hulk until we can no longer do so. Well, I, unfortunately, I can't play that guy from the top. So we could kill Sheldock Isle, but I mean, like, Torrential Gear Hulk is an active threat against us right now. And if they kill our Acidic Slime, we're probably just dead. So, you know, I do think this is the safer play. Couldn't we have activated Plukranos and killed Strix? Uh... So X damage is No, because it doesn't fight. Yeah, see, this is why this is why I didn't want to leave the Torrential Girl on board, because I didn't want to be dead. They they don't fight though. You deal X damage divided any way you choose. X we had one mana up. We had six total lands. We played Land of War Elf and Pelucronos. That's five mana. We had one mana up. Pelucronos would be would deal zero damage. Belfastrix would deal one damage. Like it's not a fight. You you're not fighting. You're not dealing your damage. Uh I I don't know how we would have had two. We played On one turn we played Acidic Slime, which was five mana. We'd have one up. On another turn, we played Pelucranos and Llanowar Elf. Right, it deals one death touch damage, so it dies, like, it, it still dies, but... Guy's Cradle. Okay. Well, we can block here. Oh, no, we don't have lands. Yep, that's a... Okay, bringing Scavenging Ooze in now, because that guy seems good. Nature's claim seems good. Let's see if we can draw. I mean, they have a ton of artifact. They have a ton of fact of a ton of artifacts and enchantments. They have Oblivion Ring, Torrential Gear Hulk, Soul Ring, um, Baleful Strix. We have Acidic Slime, Fraley's, Green Sun Zenith, Rex Sage, and Nature's Claim. Take out a Sakura Tribe Elder and play forty one like a mad person. Uh, Snapkeep. <laughs> I don't know, Frank. Sounds like you made a mistake. Chat never lies. Uh, it's true. Where were you last turn? Oh, wow. You're just going to let us activate this guy. Toxic Deluge for five. <gasps> Nothing? What is happening? I mean, they have to have Wrath here, right? <laughs> Fucking amazing. Oh, cool. We just have six star turn, too. That's super sweet. <clears throat> so that, that went really well. I mean, they still don't have any counter spells, which is fine. I mean, we can go Eternal Witness, get back... Um, Avenger of Zendikar. Sure. Uh, 
let's get back. I think we're getting back coarser here. Because they don't have a seventh land, so. Cool, of course you have double day of judgment. Why wouldn't you? I mean, next time we're just crater huffing. Unfucking believable. Oh boy, good times. I think do you think they took the blue out and they're just like a blue a white black deck now? Wow, they're actually very close. They can just activate this next turn. Yeah, this is a uh, this is amazing. Okay, we're one land away from that guy. Yep. Cool story, bro. I'm gonna get rid of this now because it's two extra mana during their turn and they've already used library so So look, they are playing blue, isn't that cute? I'm just gonna get rid of their blue source. They can keep drawing with library, it's fine. We just, we just win the match. I mean, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Ulamog's a hell of a drug, my dude. Wow. Nice deck.
Oh, Unforgiven with the bids for beating that opponent. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I literally thought they just boarded into like a, a white black like control deck. Apparently not. Apparently they still have the blue in there. And they just drew all of their wrath effects. So what can you do? And we did win a game with Crater Hoof, so I didn't steal that man's money. Right, that's why I didn't get rid of the library. Like, they were so hard-pressed to have blue, and they finally... I'm like, I'm just assuming they have a handful of blue cards if they're just attacking with a friggin'... What's his name? Murderous Rider. Mm. This hand's not super fast, but I think it's still solid. Opponent <laughs> just blew himself. Solid reference. Solid reference. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on, one time, big fat daddies. Where are my fat daddies at? Give me those fat daddies. Come on, Utamog. Like little Paul Chion's son would say. Oh, they're gonna flicker my token away. Goodbye, little token. Or they, they're like, do I want to draw a card? Or do I want to draw a token more? Or not draw, I guess you're not drawing a token. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Did you consider channeling last turn? A little bit. I mean, what do we do? We play, we go channel. We can play this and what else? Nissa? No, I don't think it's worth getting a one a Nissa out a turn earlier. <laughs> oh boy! So, like, this guy's just gonna die anyway. I think we just kill this stupid idiot. Hmm. Goodbye, Gary. Gary! I get to kill that now? Just too good. Ooh, or do we... Do you think they have mana leak? Maybe. This doesn't play around it, but I'd rather have this get countered than Fraley's. Okay. I mean, we still could have played Fraley's next turn. We literally could have just...
Oh, good. <sighs> cool. Well, enjoy your Ulamog. Had to have remand in hand, I guess. And then a second blue. Seems good. Why is this taking so long? You just grab the Ulamog. There you go. That's, I don't know why that was... You just take a screenshot, grab the Ulamog, pass it back. Crater Hoof. Pelucranos. Four? Hmm... It's always this old mug. It has Annihilator. <laughs> Kills us way faster. Are they going to force of will this? Uh, I did not consider keeping channel because I'm trying to find the best way to survive in this game that we're playing right now. I don't know what the holdup is here. I have three cards. I just want to play them. Today, Junior! Cool. So you're attacking Fraley's? Sounds good. Uh, one, five, six, seven.
I mean, if they had a wrath, they would 100% wrath before we before they attacked. Uh, no blocks. Oh man, I was really hoping they blinked the, uh, the dude. So we got five. We can deal. Yep, not enough. Okay. Seems good. Both sides played hard. I think it'd be non creature primal command. Nah, eh, command doesn't do much. I mean, my biggest concern of anything they did was bribery. They have a weird flicker wisp, Yori. They have a 60 card deck that just happens to have bribery in it, so. Tempted to bring in Dragon Lord of Tarka just because it does kill Yorion and kills things like Flicker, Flicker Wisp. Do I want to bring in more creatures for them to bribery? Probably not. Uh, Oblivion Stone does not answer a bribed Ulamog because it is indestructible. Yeah, it is destroy. Um, is there a two drop we want to get here? Not really. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So seven mana next turn, so we can green sun for six. Oh, good. Bribery incoming. Eight bribery for seven. So we can play this for four. One, two, three, four, five. We can deal two to this. It's not exciting at all. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but I do think acidic slime is probably our best option. So if I play this guy first, we have one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, so we're one shy.
Yeah, might as well spend six to see what we can get. I mean, the problem is we don't need infinite mana once we... Uh, sure. Could have also killed Dryad, but Dryad doesn't really... I mean, if they don't have lands, then it doesn't really matter. Oh, good, they did have two lands. I guess two lands bribery. So that's just how our lives are going to go. Okay, that's actually fine. Yeah, blinking that seems very good. So long, guys, Cradle. God. Using our own cards against us is the fucking worst. You got it. I'm going to crack this because I don't feel like we're going to draw forest anyway, but that's okay. We're just trying to. There it is. Bam. <laughs> oh, that's a good time. So we can actually kill both of these guys, right? Wait, three? Ugh, God. Yeah, actually, this is fine. It's still good. Well, I knew we were gonna trade. Like, that's not the that's not the point. I mean, getting rid of the Teferi for we got rid of. I mean, we just we just traded Teferi, Phyrexian Metamorph, and Soulfire Grandmaster for Pelucranos, which seems pretty good. Especially because it had to be done.
I just ain't got the words, buddy. You and me both. Oh, well, that's sad. I guess we're racing now. Buddy, you and me both. Thank you. Steven with a resub. I'm at a loss, but I'm glad you're streaming. Buddy, I am I am literally the exact same. It's just I literally had to pry myself away from like the news footage to just come and like feel normal for like Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're dead on board Thank almost. You. Well, we take four, and if they have a lightning bolt or a lightning helix. Brett with the 11 Thank gifted you. subs. Super random, but I appreciate you, my dude. Oh my god, Brett, man, you are your level of support recently has been through the roof. Thank I don't know what to attribute it to, but I appreciate you. Also, one of Katie's... Oh, boy. Uh, one of Katie's top Thank choices you. right now for veterinary residency is University of Florida in Gainesville. So it's very possible Thank you. that we might be returning to Florida, albeit like a little bit north of the um, Thank you. that area. But nevertheless, my parents live there, so like we definitely have a reason to to come visit and hang out. Crater Hoof one time. Thank you. That's not gonna do it. Cool. Okie dokie, that was a that was a game, I guess. That was a series of games. Thank you. Brett, dude, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate your support. You are friggin' amazing. Uh California, unfortunately, is not an option. We have to go to UC Davis. That's like one of the only schools. And um I mean you don't the, the thing about residency, veterinary residencies, you don't get you. to pick. There's literally a list of 17, 17 uh residencies. You have to pick, you have to rank them. And basically, Thank wherever you. they, wherever you get matched with, is where you have to go. So you don't really get that great of a choice. And plus, because residencies are very, very hard to get into, like you just take what you can get. <laughs> There's not much here in West Virginia, but if you need anything here, Music Manly, I appreciate you, buddy. It's actually super wild and crazy considering all the debt and time it takes, but I believe she'll get there. I do too. And one day, I believe Michael will use the correct form of there, there, and there. I believe in everybody. I believe all, all of the dreams will eventually come true. And guys, it's been a very slow day for magic articles for obvious reasons. So definitely be sure to check out the article in the in the in the chat right now. That's my article for cool stuff this week. Maybe open it, check it out later, leave me a comment. Uh we talk about the new boast and uh foretell mechanics, both of which I think are pretty sweet. So definitely check those out. That time I did realize I got it wrong, but you can't Mike was like, dang it was going down while i was in a product meeting i feel oh shit was going down while i was in a product dude i woke up today and i was like i'm gonna start streaming i'll stream around i'll stream around like noon and then i was glued to the to the news stream for like two and a half hours because oh god people are actual maniacs Does it have pictures? It has, like, the pictures of the cards. I 
It's so odd taking calls about loans and late fees. You're like, yeah, buddy, listen. Don't even worry about it. You'll be fine. This is the least of your concern. I've actually not looked at the new the new mechanics. See, there you go. It's perfect. I'll keep this hand. This is this hand is not impressive, but Sylvan Library is always impressive. Let's draw Bird of Paradise. Oh, you gotta one up me with the green stuff, huh? Okay. I see. Oh, a Rafellos. I might just play that guy on turn two. Don't worry about those late fees. Society ends tomorrow. Well, buddy, unless you're paying your late fees back in bottle caps, it's not going to really make a difference. Don't counter this. You're going to counter it? I'm asking you not to. You didn't? That's pretty cool. I appreciate you. Did you talk about the two new cards already? No, I don't think so. No, I did not. Good thing I've been collecting those caps. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not me, unfortunately. I'm too big of a recycler, you know? I'm trying to recycle things. I throw out all my bottle caps. And then I'm back at square one. Well, the lunch boxes are just thing you... That's just what you put the caps in. Come on, everybody knows that, Brett. like you've never done this before i'm gonna waste this mana i don't feel good about it but look at this solid hand man i don't know what they're doing though they're playing blue green here factor fiction they're gonna factor fiction so basically <laughs> you have no black sources you have all these black cards man knock yourself out They took the... Oh, they took the blue cards. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if you play an island. So we know they have Force of Will. You can bounce something? Whoa. Wreck it. Okay, well, we're definitely going to draw. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okie dokie. Put on top. Pay four. Play land. Wow. Three lands. Four lands in hand. Three lands on the top. This is this is how you win drafts, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see. This is fucking phenomenal, dude. Oh boy. Where's that Utamog when you need it? So this is 10 forest and I'm pretty sure there's one more on top. It's true, I'm definitely not missing a Lotus Cobra trigger ever. Come on, Ulamog. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm going to end this game. Why one turn away, you idiot? You stupid idiot. <sighs> Where's the justice? I'm taking a land out. <laughs> Thank you. So if we pay eight on one turn, if we pay eight instead of four, we're losing four life. They have a two-two on board. If we just let them attack with their two-two and we go to the next turn, 
we have taken two damage in that turn cycle to see one extra card from our draw step. If we draw the extra card, we've taken four damage plus their two damage to see one extra card. I, I don't know. Like, does that, I don't know. Does that, it didn't make sense to me. Like, it just doesn't seem like they didn't have that much pressure. And if we take too much damage, like the one extra card isn't really worth the four life because it actually has to offset the five damage on board. Like, we have to draw a card that offsets the five damage we're going to be taking on board. And it's just, we're probably going to lose if we end up doing that. Like, Okay, this could be good. Have yet to see Channel and any Eldrazi on turn one. We've seen Channel once, and I think we've seen an Eldrazi in a playable game once. Uh, I think our opponents have controlled more of our Eldrazi than we have. <sighs> cool. I don't actually care about that. I think that's probably worse than Pelucranos. Unless you don't hit a land. But I guess if we hit Corsair, we can try to hit a land. We did hit a land. I like it. Land on top? Lotus Cobra on top. Okay. Okay. I feel like I want a green sun for something, even if it's just like Nissa, get a forest, put a forest into play. I mean, Pelucranos. Ah. This is not the uh, the outcome I was expecting with the Crater Hoof Channel Double Eldrazi deck, but oh, they took the Lotus Cobra. Fascinating. 
I mean, if we get one land, we get to kill Thief of Sanity, so that's pretty cool. I imagine they're going to go Lotus Cobra, land, three mana removal spell for Pelucranos. Okay, sure. Lotus Cobra? Sure. Land on top? Can't fucking get lucky. Can't fucking get lucky. Absolutely incredible. Oh, boy. This is this is game three no less or game two, so I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's. And I'm tempted to green sun for bird, and then also play devoted druid and maybe hit a land on top. I think that's actually probably decent. Oh, we can't actually undo that because it's a a mana ability. Oh, there we go. See, now we're talking. Can't play both. Wanted to. Can't do it. One, two, three, four. On next turn. Nah, still not good enough. Oh my god, my sister-in-law lives in D.C. hoping she's a safe tonight. Dude, I also hope that. I mean, I'm definitely just jump blocking here. Like, if they ever have, like, damnation, I don't want to get wrecked. And also, there's no reason you should have more of my cards. We also don't need bird when we have a bunch of stuff. We have Eternal Witness if they do. We, all, we can also go forest into Acidic Slime, one of their stupid lands. Okay, Snake Man's good. Guy's Cradle on top. Green Sun again, huh? Okay. So is this four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight? We're one shy of killing both of these. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to keep getting wrecked by this guy, but this guy is also pretty problematic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. So one, two, three. I think we have to get rid of that guy. We could also green sun for like two here. Is that any good? I would say it gets us a Rafelos, but Rafelos is still in our deck. Five, six, seven, eight. Actually, if there's a land on top, it gets us Pelucranos. Or uh Crater Hoof. So I think we're just gonna pass here. Hope they have nothing. Hope we hit a land on top. And then we can green sun into crater hoof. That's that seems like a reasonable plan, right? Hold on a second, I'm gonna shut this window. It's getting cold in here. Real chilly. I'm like, where's my where's my socks? I haven't worn socks in weeks.
uh, this is on their turn. Um, I think we're in good shape here. Sure. Bone Shredder one land. They took the one land and the Bone Shredder. Sounds good. Land on top. Fucking never. Fucking never, dude. Oh, God. Brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The old one land shy. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to Green Sun here just to get rid of the Beast Within, but then, like, we lose Green Sun. And it doesn't go to the Graveyard. Why not four lands versus the one spell? I think if we put four lands, they might just easily snap off four lands. And I don't know what their their land situation is. Like, they've given me... um, it's It's turn six, and they've missed three land drops. So, you know, I, I assume they, they would probably snap off the lands pretty easily. Whereas, like, one Bone Shredder, I'm not super concerned when they already have a snake. I don't care about the Bone Shredder. I feel like it's just slime. Or we green sun for seven, we go get Avenger of Zendikar, and we try to hit a land. I mean, we know they have Bone Shredder, so if we go get Rafellos, they're just going to kill Rafellos. Even for Forest is actually not even terrible. Like, it literally lets us Crater Hoof next turn. But the thing is, I think we can wait. No, we can't hoof next turn if we if we use all eight mana this turn. Oh, we could go one, two, three, E Yeah, we could have done that, but I don't know. Oh, we're gonna vampiric tutor. That's gonna be good, I'm sure. I mean, I guess we have Beast Within to kill that thing. <laughs> I think that's what they got. Is that what they got? So they played Phantasmal Image. Sure. Show me that land. Hmm. Fascinating. So we know they're drawing Tassiger, which I don't think we care about. The question is, what do we get here? I think we just get Rexage and kill the Demir Signet.
Or we can kill the Courser, actually. That might be better. Because we know they're drawing Tassiker here. Sure. I'll attack with all. I mean one. Is this a damnation turn? Cool. So now they can just bone shredder this Nissa. Wow, fucking amazing. So we've played against three Wrath of God effects so far in this cube. So that's been that's been fun. Let me guess, bone shredder. Cool. You're doing it. And they're probably going to play Tassiger here. I mean, obviously they vamped for it. We didn't know they vamped for it. I mean, how would I have known that? <laughs> like... What does Courser do for them? When their mana screwed, it prevents them from hitting more lands? They have literally, it's turn 10. They've played three lands this game. Courser helps them hit lands, which seems very relevant for a blue-black control deck. It's extremely relevant. I, I don't know. It's... And if we go for Signet, they literally have another look at a land. So they could literally just go land off the top. Like, I mean, I don't know. That's a weird defense. You can have a brainstorm. I mean, we can play Crater Hoof for six here. It's a guy. We know they have a brainstorm in hand. I mean, it, attack for, it, it attacks for six. It's a 5-5 five, five on the board. Yeah, we're just doing it. I mean, like, the, the problem is they're going to have untapped mana in the future. Like, there's no guarantee. Oh, it, uh, yeah, it attacks for seven. You're right. There's no guarantee we're actually going to be able to uh, draw more creatures. Shut up if we draw a creature money. next turn, we're going to have to play that creature, then play Crater Hoof to turn after. So we're, like, talking about two, three turns away here. My daughter wants to know, why do you do all this? She means through magic. Ma oh, dang it. I mean, they had the answer anyway, so it never matters. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, I'll take this race. All right, hold on. Let me see what this, let me see what this music manly message said. She means stream magic, make YouTube videos, etc. I tried to explain, but I guess she wants to hear it from you. Why do you do all this? Um, 
I would say that I like entertaining people the same way like people make movies or make music, right? Like you do it because you want to entertain people and you want people to enjoy the things that you make, right? So I can only hope that people are doing that. But yeah, it's mostly for entertainment. And also it's because I, you know, I have to do something in order to make a living. And uh, this is an enjoyable course that I've chosen to take. It's going to be Sakura Tribelder. Okay. All right. So they got our 10 mana Ulamog, and we're probably dead. And I am a glutton for punishment. Yes, I enjoy I enjoy being punished for my life choices. They now have both of our Ulamogs, so that's good. I mean, Avenger of Zendikar? Maybe that's still an option. That'd be good. I don't even want to crack this Tribelder here, to be quite honest. Shut up and take my money! Oh, okay. Something else is happening. One gainfully employed bug. <laughs> checks out. That checks out. Okay. How did you... How did, oh, that wasn't intentional? Avenger of Zendikar. It was a land. It was a land instead. Okay. I see. We're doing good. Bad times. She really enjoyed the Flaming Hot Gummy Bear episode. Michael did not. There's the Avenger of Zendikar we were hoping for, so that's good. That's good. All of our options to win the game have gone. Unfortunately, we never got to channel Ulamog or channel Emrakul or channel anything. Or We did get one win with Crater Hoof, so I guess, that's, I guess that's, that fulfills... And we are dead. All right. I had a good time. Hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe sub subscribe buttons. Gimpy MN, thank you so much for the tip. Really appreciate it. I hope that even though our matches did not go... I feel like I have a hair or something hanging out on my... I got it. Uh, our matches did not go according to plan. Hopefully this is still uh, a reasonable attempt at crater hoofing people to death. And uh, it, of course, as it was meant to be, the finale of Devastation and the Crater Hoof were in the same exact pack thank you guys for watching be sure to follow or subscribe on twitch if you guys want to support the channel it's a great way to do so i am here five to six days a week and uh it's one of my primary sources of income so guys if you guys enjoy the content that content creators make if you want to support the things you watch regularly definitely consider subscribing or following or small donations all those things help a ton and uh i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching